All right, welcome, guys. Welcome to the uh, third game of the triple header for NWO tonight. We have uh, two top 25 teams here, Oklahoma State, number 16, travels to Happy Valley, taking on number 24, Penn State. Sorry about the uh, technical difficulties, but we're ready to go now. And uh, this should be an interesting game after all of that wait. Joined tonight by uh, Coach Bruso. That's my color guy. Welcome in, Coach. How we doing, Vaughn? Welcome in. Happy Valley is not an easy place to get a W, but Oklahoma State is rolling after that bounce back, so we'll see how things go tonight. All right, here's the kickoff. About halfway deep in the end zone. Shatron brings it out. This guy's dangerous. Watch him. Gets a good block on the outside. Gets to the edge. Going to cut back. Runs over two guys. Makes it over the 35-yard line, 43 yards return, and that's where uh, the Cowboys are going to start their first drive. Shetron's a very, very dangerous guy in, in the open field. Trust me, last year I learned the hard way. Um, but yeah, let's let's see see what old Rice can do with this Oklahoma State offense. They're very explosive, and State defense is pretty gritty. And he uh, does it with his arm and his leg, so double threat. Got to be careful. And in motion, fake handoff, and gets met and dropped in the backfield for a loss of two. Penn State was not going with the fake there, and. Uh, for a loss. Great option defense right there. We had a guy for the dive. We had a guy for, for you know, for, for the quarterback as well. And, um, you know, good, good start for Penn State. But, you know, that's one play. You got to gotta play all, got to play all three, sometimes all four downs against Danny. So, let's see what happens here on second down. Ball on the 33. Yep. It's going to spread them out. Three to the left, one to the right. Take handoff. Got a block, cuts through the hole. It's going to pick up about 11 on that play, 12 yards. It's going to be third down and one. Yeah, but don't you love how EA's math sometimes works? Mm -hmm. yep. So 12 minus 12 is still one. I love it. <laughs> um, great, great job right there, R running the counter with, with the quarterback. And third and manageable, everything's in the playbook. Yeah, Rice is their leading carrier, leading rusher on the season. You got to watch him. Here's the handoff to Nixon. Huge hole. Just had to pick one of them. Goes forward for eight yards and another first down. Yeah, you know, if you're Oklahoma State and you see, you know, if you're even or at least ha or even have an advantage on numbers in the box on third and one, I think you're going to be licking your chops the whole night. So maybe some adjustments needed by the Penn State defense, but, you know, we'll see if that comes to be. But, hey, we're now over midfield. First and ten for the Cowboys. First down. And it can bring out five wide receiver tight set. Rice in the shotgun. Quick throw out in the flat. Presley's got it to the 40. Down to the 30. Looks like 36. Drags him down. 12-yard gain. That quick little pass offense for Oklahoma State is uh, lethal. They get those blocks on the outside, and there's no one out to get the receiver. That damn bubble screen, man. Every day when you when you have either when you're commentating a Danny game, when you're when you're watching a Danny game, or if you're playing against Danny. No, the bubble's always in his back pocket. All right, spread him out again. Five wide. Rice in the shotgun. Drop. Pressure from the left. Looks over the middle. Got a man. First down, Harris. And going to get inside the 20, down to the 17. 16-yard gain and an 18-yard gain. Can't read. Big first down. Gets him in the red zone early. Yeah, great route there on, on, on the slot post. Defender overcommitted to the outside. Probably thought it was a corner route, but pitch and catch. We're in the red zone. And there he comes back, five wide again. Loves this offense. Get the blocks, quarterback can run. Get the man open, he just throws it. Here's Rice, looks, throws, and knocked down at the 15. Penn State should have picked that off. They just kind of baby armed that down to the ground. He's second down and 10. You know, well, that is of on. As you as you said before, there's a reason why those kids play defense. But you gotta have that Second defense state. Go. Oklahoma State. Let's see another down. He had Greenfield in front of him too. Not sure he had the speed to go. Here's Nixon looking for a hole. Runs into his center. Slides off to the left. Picks up four. Can bring up a third down into Dix from the 13. Nice, nice initial penetration by the Penn State defensive lineman right there. But you know Nixon's slippery enough. He's quick enough. We all know he's fast enough to get to get away from anybody. But third and six here. Still everything in the playbook for Danny. You know, red zone, everything starts tightening up a little bit. So let's see what happens. Yeah, he can run it. He can throw it. He's got the uh, Nixon in the backfield with him. Fake. 
Look, got a block. Oh, ran around the block and nailed him down. Two yard gains. I'm going to bring up fourth and four. I thought he was going to get a good block and just spring him all the way to the end zone, and he just outlaid that block. <laughs> Pretty much. You know, just, you know, the old lay, or, you know, if you're in pass protection, it's the old lookout block. You turn around and yell, look out. So Penn State clamps down in the red zone. Here's a fake. Shetron throws it out and airmails it. Guy was double covered anyway. I'm sorry, Shelton, not Shetron. Shelton's their back of the quarterback. And turnover downs, and Penn State's going to start their first drive from their own 11 yard line. And uh, they've been airing it out all year long. See if they try to balance this out. They're just going to try and shove it down Danny's throat with the uh, air raid. Bayer drops, rolls hard, plenty of room, throws, and caught at the 28. It's over the 30 to the 32. That dude, Harrison Wallace, by far their best receiver, and he uh, gets them way off their goal line to start the uh, first drive. That definitely helps uh, your confidence getting off your own goal line. Big formation handoff, and Singleton runs into his own blocker, loses three on the play, going to bring up second and 13. Good job by the Cowboy front line there. Yeah, you know, the draw, I, I like the play call. I'm trying to catch him off, off guard a little bit, but this Oklahoma State defense, man, they just fly around and make plays. It's pretty fun to watch, and now we got Penn State in second and long. And Oklahoma State's dropping back in coverage. They're making change of the line. Quick drop. Drifts left, looks Got a man, and oh, it should have been picked at the 45. Defender had his hands on it and just couldn't come back all the way down with it. That was Epps on the play. Bring up a long third and 13. Yeah. One, one should have, could have, would have for Penn State. One should have, could have, would have for Oklahoma State. So I guess we're even now. Maybe, maybe we'll see something here going forward. You, you said before about uh, Sticks defense. This is where they're all camped out right at the uh, yellow line there. Bayer drops, looking, looking. Throws deep down the middle, trying to go 50-50 ball, and it's caught all the way down at the 20-yard line. Ron Montgomery, 51 yards, and just like that, Penn State's in the red zone. Oh, hey, you know what? Sometimes you just got to trust your dudes to make a play. And Penn State quarterback just chucked it up there. The big fella boxed out the defender. And Rince, we're now on the 20-yard line. Unreal. It's like almost a back shoulder throw because he underthrew it. Here's a handoff trying to get to the edge, and he's not going to get there. 15 guys wrap them up and throw them to the ground for a three-yard loss. And uh, Singleton's still in negative territory with his uh, rushing yards. And uh, they have to figure something out with the run game here quick. Yeah, most certainly. Um, you know, it, it's hard to run with the speed of this Oklahoma State defense, but you got to at least do it to at least try to keep them honest. All right, second and 13. Bayer looks. Nice pickup by the halfback. Looking, looking, trying to feed the man on the sideline. He takes off and runs, and then runs into the tackle. If he stays outside, he gets the first down. Still gets 12 on the play. Bring up a third and one at the 11. Yeah, hey. Things weren't open. There may have been a slight window there, but, you know, you're in the red zone, man. You, you don't want to force anything. Ha have a red zone turnover right here. You got third and short. Plenty of opportunities here to, to get a first down. And they come out with tight end, fullback offset eye to the left, two receivers to the short side, handoff, and Singleton tries to power through. He's going to be short. No gain, be fourth and one from the 11. See if they want to go for this or uh, take the points. Man, somebody's got to, you know, the Penn State offensive line, man, somebody's got to account for that linebacker. Now, they may have one, you know, the defense may have had one too many for them to block. You know, you, you can't let a, a linebacker of that caliber just run right through the gap scot-free. Taking their time. There we go. A minute and a half left here in the first quarter. First drive for each team. Got to the red zone. Going four and fourth down here. Play clock down to five. Bayer dropping, looking. Pressure in his face, and he's going to get sacked at the 20. No one was open. He had no one to throw the ball to. Blanket coverage, Ron. And now both teams here have had opportunities to potentially get points on the board. 
and they've turned it over on down. They've got to play with Interesting some philosophy here, being here. hyper aggressive. Now we see the Cowboys back trip. on the field. All right, four receiver set, trips on the short side. Big handoff, Rice, read option, gets a block this time, cuts it back, and nice corner left his man, came up, made the stop, and can be second down and one. You know, when that when that edge defender crashed, Vaughn, there was nobody within the vicinity. So, like you said, great play by the, by the defender to come off, and that saved them big. Now they come out. Yeah, pullback tight end. I can't, don't know what his uh, rush looks like right now, but he's doing the handoff up the middle. Nixon, easy first down, tries to get back to the outside. Nine yard gain, moves the chains, be first and 10, sitting with 46 seconds left here in the first quarter. Yeah, a little lead read right there, reading that the near side defender. The guy sat, it makes it an easy hole, especially with the light box and the ball off. Nine yards, first down. It's first down. Now they came out with a tight end. Three receivers. Shetron motions into the backfield. Fake handoff. Looking up the middle. Pitches it out. Gets to the edge. Defender falls down. Jukes it back inside. Runs over two guys. All the way down to the 32-yard line. Great pitch. Great run by Shetron afterwards. Yeah. Little, little slot triple action. Or tri <laughs> triple option there. You know, guys are obviously going to play Rice just because he's a dangerous defender on the edge, but you got the speed of Shetron and getting the pitch. He does only a gain of 30. All right. Down to 14 seconds. Rice drops, looks up the sidelines, got a man open at the five, and he walks into the end zone. Jaden Bray, 33 yards, just like that. Oklahoma State's on the board. Extra point away from a 7 nothing lead with 10 seconds left here in the first quarter. Did an amazing job of beating the press literally almost instantaneously. You know, and Rice just literally, he just had to not overthrow him. You know, he, that, that was pretty much as wide open as you're going to get here in the NWO, especially the man. And that's pitch and catch for Oklahoma State, and they take the lead. All right, and their lefty kicker is going to kick this off. Hutton booms it deep and right through the uprights. That should at least give you one point in my mind. And uh, they'll start at the 25. Yeah, so we saw the explosiveness of the Oklahoma State sideline. What can we see from this Penn State unit, Vaughn? They had the one explosive play over the middle of the field for 50 yards. But can let's see, is it going to be more explosive plays? Will be, will they be able to have a consistent you know, eight to ten play drive? Kind of milk some of this clock in the first half. It'll be interesting to see how Dark Specta and, and the Nittany Lions adjust to what Oklahoma State's giving. Yeah, they've been very ha pass um, happy the whole year. They have right around 300 yards rushing for the whole season. And uh, Singleton's really struggling to get anything going. He's averaging about three yards a carry. Here he goes up the middle, off tackle, off guard, the hole there. Two-yard gain, and uh, that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Pretty fast-moving first quarter. A lot of – the ball was not in the air too much, and when it was, we had a couple interception attempts that have failed. But, you know, it's tough to run the ball in this Oklahoma State defense, and we'll see what happens in the second down. And here they come out, three receivers tied into the right, half back to the right. Singleton making changes, play clock down to seven. Quick drop. Looks, throws, got a man over the middle to the 45, 50, 45, 40, down, cuts off, bounces off one guy, maneuvers through three more, somehow gets it down to the 20. Pick up an extra 30 yards after that catch. That Huge dude, catch and run by Wallace. That dude, Wallace, man, he gave us hits when we played Spectre the first week of the year. We, If we double teamed him, he got free. If we zone covered, he, he, found, he found the zone to put it into. The dude is just a problem, especially with the vertical underneath on the inside receiver and him running running the post under underneath that. Man, he's wide open. Yeah, he's got a lot of speed. His catching and route running isn't the, the highest rated, but he somehow finds a way to get open. And off Singleton tries to get to the outside, cuts it back, gets taken down right the 15 yard line, gain of three, be second down and seven. Right. Hey. You know, three yard gains, a three yard gain, you know, three times four is 12 for, for those mathematicians in, in, in the audience. But like we said before, you have to keep this Oklahoma State defense honest. If you let them just pin their ears back and go rush the passer, 
with the secondary and, and the speed they have in the back end, it is going to be hard to move. It's second down. There we go. Offset eye. Get two receivers to the short side. Hand off. Cuts it out to the outside. Cuts it. Tried to cut it back to the middle. That was good enough to get the first down. The first and goal from the eight yard line. I think that put him in positive rush yards for the for the uh, game. <laughs> right. And you know, <coughs> if you're Penn State, you're just trying to chip away in the run game, just trying to get some moving, some some momentum going. But hey, it's first and goal. Now they got two tight ends set. Oklahoma State pinches the middle, handoff, tries to get the outside, hits his tackle, and gets swarmed over. And they're trying to strip the ball. He's going to be taken down at the ten. He lost on the play, be second and goal. Not only is yeah, it a negative you know, play, but this can really maybe impact going, and affect the emotion. You know, committing the to the run game, game especially in the red zone, is not not the, the worst field, thing. Even but when you got when you got a four four defense out there like Oklahoma State on them did on that play, you, you got to find some sort of crease. But there was nothing there. All right, second to goal. They mark it at the nine. Second down. Got three wide receivers tied into the right. Play clock down to six. Veyer drops, pressure in his face, rolled hard to his left, looking, throwing, caught. Oh, it's knocked down. Threw it behind the receiver. That was a touchdown. Indeed it was, man. Young quarterback got a little happy. He got His eyes got really big because his receiver opened up late, but you got to put it on him. And now it's third down. You're playing right into the Cowboys' hand. Yeah. And we know revamp lurks, but so does Danny. He's one of the better guys are just reading making a break and picking the ball off there's a caught under inside the five sorry down to the four me fourth and goal and we'll see if penn state wants to go for it on fourth from the three or take their points they went last time and uh got shut down pretty pretty solidly so big decision early in the game for penn state it is the three yard line if it was maybe the five and out you may consider you know, more likely rolling the field goal team out here, but the offense is staying on the field, Ron. Going big, three tight ends and a fullback. Pinch in the middle. DBs are cheating, and they call timeout. It's first half. Those are not wasted timeouts. And, you know, can't carry them over, so might as well use them if you don't like the uh, defense when you come out of the huddle. Yeah, you know, like... Let, like, let, let me tell our kids, IRL, like, listen, I don't mind you taking a first half timeout if something doesn't look right, but save, you, you, you better just run with it in the second half. And now they're just going to line up and take their points. Unless they go fake. Ball down, kick up. Oh, and he hooked it left, and he missed it from the right hash. He missed the left upright. So overcompensated greatly on that one, and it cost them three points. It looks like my damn golf shot sometimes, man. It was just brutal. <laughs> You know, so you say work in the slice. All right, let me fix the slice. And you just hook the living shit out of it. And, uh, you know, that's a heartbreaking thing for Penn State. But they can't they can't dwell on it too much because dangerous Cowboys offense back on the field. All right, come out. Trips. I'm sorry. Three receivers. Shetron goes in motion to the left. Play clock down to six. Rice pressure in his face. Quick throw. Screen pass. Nixon trying to get outside. Diving tackle missed. Breaks two tackles, falls forward, and he's going to pick up about seven on the play. That was a lot of work to get those seven yards. Definitely. It's like a human pinball out there just bouncing off of Nittany Lion defenders. Gets seven yards out of that. I mean, at first I thought it was going to be big, a big gain, and then, oh, you know, maybe they'll rally to it, and he still somehow gets a medium gain out of it. I don't know. Second down, you know, playing this game for so long, you, you still see some things you never down. see before. All right. Three wide receivers tight into the right, half back to the right. Second and three. Shetron goes back in the motion of the backfield. Fake handoff. Runs to the left. Pitch. Nixon's got it. Gets to the outside. Gets a first down and drags out of bounds to the 33. Really good late pitch there to make sure he got the first down. Absolutely. Great. Once again, seems like the triple option out of the Cowboys offense here. Trying to stretch the perimeter defense of the Nittany Lions pretty thin. And it seems to be working well. So maybe some adjustments have to come either sooner rather than later from the Nittany Lions or... Hope you can get to halftime. All right, four wide receiver set, two tight to the right. Nice drops, throws, caught at the first down, dragged down to 45, moved the chains again, down to three and a half minutes left here in the first half. 
when, when in doubt, go find the Pope, right? John Paul exactly. Richardson. On the sticks, man. Just just enough for that first down. And the Cowboys keep moving. All right, now we got four wide receivers. Tight end to the right. Bryce in the shotgun. Drops, looks, looks, looks. Man over the middle. Green caught. First down and gets flipped over into the air. 35-yard line. Holds onto the ball. Nice play. Very patient. Hey, um, QB sitting in the pocket, man. Got to check them damn ribs after he hurdled and got smacked. But, hey, you know what? He's a tough kid. And we're slowly creeping down the red zone once again here. All right, here they come. 3-10 left here in the first half. <clears throat> Four wide receivers and a tight end. Bray goes in motion. Rice drops, looks, throws, out route, caught to the 20, pushes, and finally a defender just shoves him out at the 15-yard uh, line. Little hand battle there. First and 10 inside the red zone. You know, taking what the defense gives you, right? That's what you tell tell your quarterback. Rice is just seeing the field at a very, very good level right now. And if they're going to play soft like that in man or zone, it's going to be wide open underneath. And now we're officially inside the red zone here with under three minutes to go in the half. All right, spread them out again. Four wide receivers tied into the right. Rice in the shotgun. Drops, looks, looks, tries to get outside and defender. Defensive end stayed home, took him down. Perfect time to shed that block and drag him down for a loss. And that's a critical play here because, as we all know, Rice is a freak athlete. But if you can keep a freak athlete inside the pocket with a really good hard edge setting defender, you kind of can, you know, negate some of that explosiveness and make it second and long and in your favor. Now they come out five wide. Halfback Nixon's in the slot there on the right. Comes back in motion to the backfield. Fake handoff. Rice to the edge and gets bounced off two defenders. Gets down to about the six-yard line. And uh, give him a third and eight from the 12-yard line. And third and eight's a lot better than third and about 12 from, from 15 or what he was about to have. But, hey, Rice runs through contact from the defender, picks up an extra few yards. And, you know, now you third and eight, you got a little bit more com comfortable situation going on if you're Oklahoma State. Penn State, you're trying to hang on for dear life here. And you still have to uh, respect his legs because send everybody off up the field and just run around the end, right? Bray goes in motion, quick drop. Looking out route, caught inside the five, steps out of bounds, first down. On the three. You, you saw a lot of motion and movement and two guys underneath pulling all the defenders away. But yet, once again, defenders are playing over the top on everything, trying to avoid the explosive play, especially after the first touchdown. But what's open? The underneath. And it's first and goal. Here we go. Just a little inside the three-yard line. They're going to spread him out at the goal line. Harris, the slot man, goes in motion. Rice, power right up the middle and walks right in untouched and uh, gets their second touchdown of the day. Extra point away from a 14-0 lead with just uh, under two minutes left here in the first half. Yeah. We tell about offensive line play, Vaughn. If you can get a hat on a hat, especially in a short, <laughs> short yardage situation like this, you're going to have success. And Rice, I'm pretty sure, didn't even get touched on his way in. All right, see how they respond here. See if they can get any points before half. He kicks it off and he got all in the deep end of the end zone, and they're going to let that go and take it at the 25. Smart move. Yep. Um, I have to step out for real quick, Vaughn, so I'll let you take over for probably the rest of the half. Not a problem. All right, Penn State. Been able to move the ball down the field twice, stalled out twice in the red zone. Once they were stopped, the other one was a missed field goal, so they got to get something here before half. Problem is Danny knows he has to get something before half. Get tripped left, tight end right in the uh, I formation or uh, under center. Bayou over the middle, caught. It's going to be a first down. Drag down. Big game. A little tight coverage. He threw it in there anyway. And uh, just the first down temporarily stops the clock. Only took six seconds for that play. Now the game clock's rolling again.
Oklahoma State looks like they're bringing pressure in the gap. Nope, drop out of it. Bayer looking, looking, throws deep down the middle, and this one's going to get picked off right around the 16, 17-yard line. Forced that down into uh, double coverage down the middle into that well one too many times. Danny saw that. And now you got to worry about Oklahoma State going all the way back down and getting a three-score lead going in the half. Quick screen to Presley. Jukes back inside. And, oh, man, he stays on his feet. That's a touchdown. Great open field. I wouldn't even say open field tackle. He had two other guys with him. He just kind of bounced off the one defender. If he can somehow keep his feet, man, there was no one out there. All right, second down and one. Game clock down, 108. In the gun. Five wide receivers. Rice looks, throws. Oh, and he threw it over his receiver's head. Was wide open. Easily got the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And bring up down, third down and one. Both teams with two timeouts left here in the first half. Means Oklahoma State can run the ball here if they want to. They don't have to throw the ball. Clock will stop. Four receiver set. Two of them close here on the uh, short side. Here's the handoff. Nixon straight up the middle. Plows forward. Gets the NWL uh, fall forward for an extra five. And it's going to be a first down. Right at one minute left. Not going no huddle. All right. Come out. 55 seconds left in the half. Five receiver set. Three to the uh, short side of the field. Nice drops. Only a four-man rush. Harris catches it, steps out of bounds right around the 46-yard line, gets the first down, stops the clock, saves the timeout. We're down to 45 seconds left. And they had four pass rushes on there. Offensive line gave him plenty of time to make that read and make that throw. Don't have to go uh, deep shots down the field at this point. We're at the 46-yard uh, line at Oklahoma State, so figure another 20 yards will be in field goal range at least. First down. All right, bring out four receivers. Nixon in the backfield. Nice drops, looks, out route, caught at the marker again. Another first down. Now they go no huddle. Game clock stops temporarily at 42 seconds. Shot turn in motion, Rice drops, pressure in his face, throws, and Nixon avoids the tackle, tries to get back outside, gets dropped to the 35-yard line, I'm sorry, 45-yard line, and they'll uh, call their second time out there, second and 12, 34 seconds left here in the first half. Whoops, sorry folks, just was sitting in the beer line for too long, so I decided to come back with a couple in hand. Broke that first tackle. Looked like he could have gotten more yards, but then he got swarmed over. He had four guys around him in the area. Now they're bringing pressure up the middle. Rice looks over the middle. Richardson got it. First down again. Down to the 30-yard line, 31-yard line. 29 seconds left. They go into the huddle. Still have one timeout left. Super tight window on that throw. Excellent job. Both thrown in tight windows. Wait, what? <laughs> Rice looks out route again at the 19, down to the 15, and gets flipped as he tries to hurdle the defender. Going to get down around the 13-yard line, I guess. Be first and 10, 24 seconds left, saving that one timeout. I, I know I just grabbed a drink, but I think I think my eyes just told me he just broke physics, diving out of bounds, <laughs> <laughs> and comes back in. Nixon comes back, fake handoff. Rice looking for a lane, cuts it back, push forward, down around the five-yard line. Be second and one. To call their last time out with 16 seconds left here in the half. You got to figure they're going to try, I don't know, two shots at the end zone. Crazy Take thing. Is you have to. I mean, four yards. First down. That, yeah, that, yeah. That's like the crazy part about this thing. It's the 11th play if you're the Penn time. State, do you play the touchdown or do you play the first down marker? Man, he only needs like a yard and a half. It says one, but it's more like a yard and a half. Here's the fake. Rice trying to get outside and he walks right between, between two defenders. Hurdles the goal line, gets the touchdown, is second of the uh, half. That play is lethal. That quarterback counter bash right there is so hard to defend. You almost have to chase it down from the backside, Bob. It's 
it's a pain in the ass when you get two guys plus Rice's athletic ability in, in open space. All right, got 12 seconds left here in the half. <laughs> Good thing for Penn State is uh, they get the ball to start second half, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see if they want to uh, take any chances here with 12 seconds left, or they're just going to run the clock out. I mean, they do have two timeouts, so you could theoretically get at least two, maybe a third playoff. But Coach Specht is going to have to be very quick with those timeouts if he wants to do that. All right, got tight trips to the right. Halfback on that side as well. Bayard drops, looks, takes a shot down the left side, and that's going to be batted down. Oh, I was waiting for the user to click on it, get the pick there, and he didn't get to it. Knocked it down. Only took five seconds, though. All right. You know, hey, great job by the defender. You're not going to be able to catch it. Just at least knock that thing down and live to see another play. Now they come out two tight ends. They're going to run the ball straight up the middle, drag down. That's going to end the first half right there. And uh, Oklahoma State didn't score on their first drive, but they've scored every time since then and uh, firmly in control at the half. Yeah, I think – you know, obviously the explosive play to start the draw, to start the game on, put through the air. I mean, Rice, look at – I mean, they got 100 yards on the ground, almost 200 passing, right? They're, they're, they're staying truly balanced, 17 passes, 15 runs for play calls. You know, they're staying ahead of the chains on third down. And Penn State, we talked about you talked about how the running game has been struggling. Look, look at that up there, 10 carries for nine yards, right? I mean, they've had 150 yards on only five passes, right? But – you gotta you gotta do better than than less than a yard of carry if you're gonna, you know, put up a good fight against this Oklahoma State team at least. You know, yeah, they're gonna have to keep some things open. They have to figure something out because they're blocking. I mean, they should have good blocking on the team, but it's it's just not holding the blocks long enough for him to pick a hole to get to. I don't know if he's just too slow and not getting to the hole or what it is. Yeah, I'm not sure. And that one goes through the upright again. Penn State will start the second half on the 25-yard uh, line. And uh, they got to get some points on this drive. They can't be messing around. Otherwise, they're going to be down four or five point, four or five scores real quick. Yep. And, you know, 21-point comeback, you, you can't score 21 until you start moving the ball consistently and get the first one. So you kind of got to see what Oklahoma State's going to kind of give you here and right just try to dink and dunk your way down the field or take a shot. Who knows? All right, game clock down to six. Singleton oh, had a hole, cuts it back, and he's only going to pick up three on the play. Oh, Ran man. right away from the hole. He could have got five or six on that. He's going to bring up second and seven. Yeah, that front side C gap started to widen open a little bit. The Singleton decided to cut it back side, which, you know, get the linebackers over, over pursue, it's not a bad idea, but they were right there as well. So, like you said, six-yard gains, only a gain of three. All right, back in the eye formation. Singleton, oh, and he gets tripped up. Great knifing play by the defender to wipe his legs out. It's going to bring up a third and nine. Man, that, that's a tough deal, man. He, when you've got a linebacker that undercuts it and loses his leverage on, on the running back but still somehow makes the play, and that's a frustrating thing when you go back and look at the film as an offensive you know, as an offensive line and, and an OC. And third and long does not play in the Nittany Lions' hands very. Right? Nope, they can just sit there and have five, six DBs on the field, cover the middle. The linebackers covering those over the middle routes. He's going to get a guy along the sidelines and gets blasted down at the 49 yard line. Moved the chains on that one. Nice catch and run. That damn man, Wallace again, Bon. It's like, no matter what you do, somehow that guy always just finds a way to get open. And Penn State still continues to drive, and we're at midfield. 94 speed. He just runs away from man and uh, zone for sure. He just runs through the zones. Bayer drops, looks, plenty of time, throws, and oh, he gets popped right when the ball gets there. Incomplete pass. Wow. Medic. <laughs> Hung his receiver out the dry on that. Hey, you know what, man? We, we don't need any more, you know, Peyton Manning, Austin Colley hospital passes thrown around here, okay? <laughs> Um, but yeah, you got to take care of your players, your teammates, if you're going to throw that ball. Conveyor in the center, drops, drop play up the middle, get some yards. Breaks through an arm tackle. It's going to give third and inches. That's their best run of the day. Yeah, you know, 
kind of talked about it. Like, don't mind the draw play. You know, the, the first one they ran wasn't the greatest. Kind of got bogged up because the defensive lineman crashed. That time's a little bit more vertical. And hey, nine and a half yards. Third and manageable here. Let's see what they do. You know, Columbus State's playing the run. Let's see if he fails out of this. Drop. Nope. He's playing pass all the way. Pressure coming from behind. Rolls up to the side and he gets pushed out. He doesn't get the first down. Those two defenders uh, worked together well and kept him from getting the first down. And it's a great pursuit there. You could see Wallace starting to slide out, and we're like, oh, boy, here we go again. A great user there by Coach. And, you know, fourth and inches here. Obviously, you're, 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 if you're Penn State, you're going to go for it. But, man, you better get this if, if you're the Nittany Lions. And he's going out five wide with their five D linemen on the field. Here we go. Here. Barking out changes. Big drop, rolls hard to his left, looking, stops, throws, got a man at the 15 to the 10 to the 5, down to the 2-yard line. Wow. I thought he was just going to cut it up and get the first down, but he was so patient and found that dude deep in the zone. And guess who once again? Mr. <laughs> Wallace. He came into the game with 26 catches already, which was more than the next two guys combined on the team. Yeah. Um, he's a problem. All right, now they come out big. Three tight ends and a fullback. Pitch play, tries to get to the edge, and he's not going to get there. He's going to lose four, three, four yards. Well, he's not down yet, finally. My goodness. Um, you, know, you heard Brad say he lost two on the play, so second and goal from the four. The old toss off on the goal line. You know, more times than not that you'll have a chance, but not with the speed of this Cowboys defense, man. Nope. Fast teams, you got to run straight at them that negates the speed. Hand off, cuts it back. Oh, he had a hole there. Gets blasted. Picks up two. Be third and goal from the two. Obvious four down territory, and we're under four minutes left here in the third quarter. I love the cut by the back, but a better play, better play by the defender. And third and goal here. I mean, you got two downs here, Vaughn, right? Yep. Three tight ends in the fullback again. Cuts it straight up the middle and pushes away into the end zone. Touchdown. Extra point away from cutting this down to a two-scorer game. Hey, when in doubt, run power, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the old adage, run, run quote-unquote God's play, which is power. And that's... hey, two, two yards out, ram it up in there, All right? We're still talking about football here. And, uh, you know, two-score game, things can change now. It's uh, Singleton's seventh rushing touchdown of the season. So clearly their guy at the goal line. Shetron's going to bring it out. Nope, he's just going to run along and kneel down. Psych. And they'll start at their own 25. <clears throat> yeah, th those uh, two guys on that cover unit for Penn State, I think they got like a 15-yard head start because they were just flying down the field. But now you're Oklahoma State. Pretty much anything you've done has worked for the most part. What exactly are you going to do? Are you going to stay business as usual? Or are you going to try to get a little bit funky? It'll be interesting to see what the Cowboys do here to answer Penn State. Yeah, I don't think Danny takes his foot off the uh, pedal. He's just going hard here. Here goes Rice. Cuts it back to the middle. Bounces off two defenders. Fall four. Picks up eight. He's second down and two. You know, the, uh, <coughs> they've done a great job of crashing on Nixon today. But the problem is, is when you crash down on the running back all the time with this athletic freak at quarterback with, in Rice, you're going to have to pay pay a little bit. So maybe some maybe some adjustments need to be get made by the defensive coordinator. Maybe, you know, maybe have an overhang there just to kind of keep them honest. You know, a couple of things just go through my head. Right, I won't give up too many details, right? But, uh, yeah, second and two. And they bring out five wide, and Penn State calls a timeout because they were not expecting five wide on second and two. <laughs> and that's it's kind of a gut punch if, if you're Penn State in dark perspective because you're down two scores, right? You're trying to find ways to get back to really get this thing close. And then the fact you have to burn a timeout in case you won't have to save it for later. So to do the same down, thing, that's just a tough that, that that's a tough pill to swallow in this situation. And now Danny comes out three tight ends in the I formation. Nixon looking for hole, cuts back, gets the first down, falls forward. Move the chains again. Very simple run. 
over I say the same the same play that Penn State scored on, on on the touchdown just just on the other side of the field Oklahoma State runs the same same thing to the other side of the side of the formation so uh, but yeah that 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 timeout may come back to hurt Penn State if, if they you know, keep this game close going forward right now in pistol three tied three wide receivers tied in chat run in motion they hand off and the pitch. Shetron gets it to 35 and drag down there. It's going to be a loss of one on the play. Great open field tackle. Yeah. Um, that's how you coach defensive backs. You know, they got to squeeze, they got to close that space because offensive players love running in space, take away that space and make the tackle right there. Oof, because Von there was probably not too many people behind him on that play. So. Could have been a big game for the Cowboys, but it's a loss of fun. And we know how fast Shetron is, too, so that uh, that would have been a huge game. Hand off Nixon, sweep to the right, cuts it back, gets a block, spins, falls forward. Finally down. It's going to be third and inches. They're going to give him 11 yards in the play, but it's third and inches. Yep. Don't you love that math? <laughs> um, but yeah, Buck sweep, man. Buck sweep's a tough play. You pull both guards. You gain two plus two gaps for the defense to defend when you get when you got an athletic back like Nixon, if you just hit the hole and run you know stumble roll over defenders you're pretty much going to set yourself up pretty well now their pistol formation fake handoff rice gets the first down cut the back to the middle lifts a guy off his feet and throws him down <laughs> quarterback is stronger than the safety that's not a good situation <laughs> no it is not and you know <laughs> That safety in the film on Monday is probably going to sink down in his chair a little bit. And, uh, you know, he's going to try to hide fr from his defensive back coach. But it's it, it's going to be all bad on Monday for that clip. From the 42 -yard line. Rice gets up, yells in his face, I'm a grown-ass man. Get out of here. All right. Pistol again. Receiver in motion across the formation. Hand off Nixon. Runs around his blocks and gets hit hard at the 40. Picks up two on the play, be second and eight. Damn, there's one up from each other on big hits. We, we, we get a truck by one and a clothesline from another. Um, <laughs> crazy hit there by the defender on the buck sweep, motioning away, trying to pull an extra defender out, out of the run lanes. But gain it two, man. You'll take that if you're Penn State. All right, four receivers set in the pistol. Richardson in the slot. Goes in motion. Rice, fake, gets to the outside, gets a block, and finally gets pushed out right around the 35-yard line, 34. You can say 35. Be third and three. 48 seconds left here in the third quarter. Yeah, and once again, they, they, are, they are not letting Nixon beat him on the ground in the option game. But – Rice himself has probably got close to, if not getting to, to you know, 100 yards. And third and manageable once again. This plays right into the Cowboys' wheelhouse. Here's the handoff to Nixon straight up the middle. Gets the first down. Down to the 30-yard line. Just read the play, handed it to him, hit the hole, get the first down, go back in the huddle. Yeah, simple split zone. Our guys up front are better than your guys up front. They got a couple yards to push. Running back found the hole, buried his shoulder a little bit. You needed three, you get four, move the chains. Another day at the office for Oklahoma State right now. And yeah, Oklahoma State just running the ball, basically down there throughout the whole drive, eating the clock, moving the chains, wearing out the defense, especially D line. Now he's spread them out, four receivers. Got Richardson in the backfield. Rice looks, throws, out route the 20 to the 15. Stiff arms and down the sideline. Finally gets pushed out at the four. Be first and goal from there. Man, you see those safeties creeping up. The quarterback's alarm bells are going off in his head. He's got to get the ball out quick. Once again, the over-the-top coverage leaves the underneath stuff open, especially on a comeback. There you have first and goal. All right, spread them out four wide. Mixing in the backfield. Fake, Rice, looks, drifts, pressure coming. Guy missed the diving tackle, stops, throws, and did he catch it? Yes, he did. Wow, that was a lot of people in traffic. I wasn't sure who caught that. 
wait till the very last second for that defender to step up and throw it over his head. I wasn't sure he caught it or somebody else caught it, Vaughn, but hey, thread in the needle and Oklahoma State going into the fourth quarter of three scores. And he ran away from the pressure. Dive tackle was missed. Gave him all the sidelines to just walk up and wait and wait and wait. Very patient again. And uh, back to a three-score lead as we start the fourth quarter. Already see Chats got fours up. And then they're going to take this out at the 25 as he kicks it through the end zone again. So Penn State down three scores, seven minutes left, only two timeouts. Very tall task. They got to move quick. It's, it, this is going to be an interesting interesting scenario for Penn State. Can can they keep their foot on the gas, be aggressive, and not give the ball back to the Cowboys? Especially because Danny loves the ball hawk. All right, spread them out, four wide. Pressure off the left, walked right around the tackle. Bayer runs up to the sideline, steps out at the 35. And Danny went outside, cut back inside, and uh, Bayer was saved by his halfback stepping up and helping out. <laughs> you know, running backs, you know, get the bad rap for not being good in pass protection. But he did a good job there. Problem is, even though he got out of bounds, the clock still runs as soon as the change are set. Now he got tight trips to the left. Drops, looks. Throws up the sideline and batted down. He was open early and he waited just too long to make that throw. Yeah, that, that's well, you hit it on the head, man. It was early. It was it was an early read. You throw that thing a little too late. You're starting to let these DBs who are hyper aggressive creep up into the passing lanes. All right, third and five. Again, spreading them out. Bear drops, looks. He's got the man right there at the 45, pushes forward out to the 48-yard line. That's saw him open up. As soon as he put his foot in the ground and made that turn, he was wide open yeah, that, between that the two dig, zones. That dig route, you know, especially from the slot, is really good against zone coverage. And Penn State doing a great job of being clutch on, on that drive, but they got to keep this ball moving. On. Yep, now he got trips to the short side. Bayer drops, drifting left, looking. Deep shot down the right, down the numbers, and it's caught. The 22-yard line. Freaking Wallace again. Man, just test him every day the rest of his life. I have, you know, we experienced that as a Badgers defense, man. He was a pain in the ass, and he's still doing that at, again as the Cowboys. All right, run no huddle. Drops, looks, throws, caught over the middle, pushes the defender down, falls forward to the five. Tight end says, oh, you're going to knock our safeties down? I'll knock your safeties down. So they got a first and goal at the six. 616 left here in the fourth quarter. Hey, I thought I thought there was a chance that, that that Oklahoma State defender could undercut that and pick the ball off, but he took the other route going underneath, leaving the dig route once again wide open. We got first and goal here, man. If Penn State punches this thing in quick, we still got ourselves a good football game. Under center, quick drop, pressure on the left, throws. Slant route, in route, whatever that was. Mr. Wallace, another touchdown. And uh, extra point away from making this a 14-point game. Hey, under a minute, Bob. Under a minute drive, you got you're still. He makes the PAT. What I talked about earlier, though, there's only two timeouts. So you got to get a quick stop here. And you got to score quick again because you don't have the ability to stop the, stop the clock three times. All right, deep kickoff. Shefford's going to take this halfway in the end zone. Going to bring it out straight up the middle, looking for blocks. Cuts it back up the middle. Jukes to the left. It's dragged down right at the 20-yard line. Get pursued by Penn State on the right side there. Great coverage, especially because if that guy doesn't make that that tackle right there on Shefford, that left side of the kick return unit was looking pretty good. But now if you're Penn State, you got to do whatever you can to just – Try to get the ball back some way, somehow. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create. And Oklahoma State's been moving the ball on the ground all day, so they don't really even have to throw here. They just got to get first downs, eat time off the clock. Here's the fake. Rice goes outside. He had a huge hole at the middle. Runs into the tackle. Only picks up one on the play. Be second down and nine. Yeah, that was a big hole that opened up, especially with the pullers, backside DN playing. Being the kick out, like there's a wide open hole. Great job by rallying to the They're spreading them out. Penn State's going man. Rice 
Looking, throws underneath. Nixon's got it and drag down. Great diving tackle. Can bring up a third down and eight. All right. Hey, take the check down. You know, it's a smart play. You don't want to throw it into coverage deep. But great job. Rally to it. And Vaughn, this is a big third down in this football game. Arguably the most important one of the day so far. Yeah, if he can get pressure, get a sack, make him throw the ball where he doesn't want to and get a pick. Strip, get a fumble. Nice looking. Throws over the middle. Caught. Out to the 35 and a first down. Move the chains. Super tight window there. Very tight. Coverage, stick yeah. and nod. The linebacker overcommitted to, to the outside breaker. He whipped it back inside. You know, nice first down there by the Cowboys. All right, spread him out again. Rice, quick throw, that bubble screen, and this time, oh, he breaks two tackles to the 50. Step back and drop down at the 47, 48 yard line. Wow, very strong receiver, breaking those tackles. Almost almost got the uh, the good step back and up the sideline, but. Great Man, stop. to quote their head coach, if that is tragic. <laughs> in fact, they could not wrap up the receiver on the damn bubble. The Ugh, they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to tighten up real here. For the All right, Nixon up the middle, bounces off one guy, runs over the defender, falls forward, picks up seven on a play. He's third, uh, second down and three. I almost said third down and two. Second down and three. Dyslexia of the mouth. You say we're going back to old reliable, just ground and pound, chewing the clock at Oklahoma State. There's four minutes to go. You get a few more first down. That lady might start humming her humming her nose here real quick. Jetron motions into the backfield. There's a triple option play. This time he hands it off to Richardson, gets a hole. Finally gets taken down to the 30, 29 yard line. Another first down, move the chains again. Danny almost doesn't want to get a first down until his third down because he can just keep burning 35 seconds off the clock. And if you saw who was the guy taking the snap right there, old Mr. Nixon decided to, hey, tell Rice to get his ass off the field. I'm taking the snap here. So hard to defend him with the two running backs in the back. Now I'm going to spread him out five wide. Rice looking, throwing over the middle. Harris caught down inside the 15 to the 12. Nice catch and then uh, – even even nicer to drag him for another at least three yards after the uh, they got a hands on him. Yeah, good throw. Guy keeps breaking tackles. You know, I don't know, man. How many piss tests we need, man? We need to order more piss tests. <laughs> going crazy out here. Now they're going five tight, not five wide. There's that wide receiver screen to Presley running to the edge, cuts it up and in, and dives into the end zone touchdown. Just like that, we're back to a three score lead. Bubble screen, man, especially out of a condensed set, is just so hard to defend if, if you're going you're to play off on that because your safety is has to crash, your corner has to somehow regain outside leverage on that. It, it's just all um, if you're a defense and you're not prepared for that play. But hey, I want to say did a good job. All right, and this is going to go through the uprights now, the end zone again. So three and a half minutes left for Penn State. You almost have to treat this as a, a tie game where you're down seven and work on that two-minute drill trying to get down the field to even up a game. Down three scores, not going to be coming back, but you can at least work on stuff on offense. Bayer drifts back, looks, throws, and the double coverage, and it batted down. Not sure what he saw there, but all I saw was three white shirts defending that play. I mean, if he let it more, if the pass was somehow thrown more vertically on that instead of flatter, could it be? Could have been a better chance, maybe. But you're lucky that ball's not going the other way. All right, four wide. Singleton on the right. Bayer drops. Bowls hard. Got the entire sideline. Runs up. Tries to get away from Rawls, and he gets hammered and dropped at the 40-yard line. And now they go no huddle. And nothing's open right away. Get a first down. Change. Clock doesn't start till the change are set. Try to save as much time as you can right here. All right, Bayer making a change. Game clock finally starts. Drops, looks. 
Throws deep down the middle, and this time it's picked up by Rawls, and he's going to get dropped right there. Nobody really was open, trying to force one a little bit, trying to make a perfect throw. But trust me, as a Packer, lifelong Packer fan, you've seen a lot of forced th perfect throws. <laughs> Usually didn't end very well. Um, but, yeah, back at it again. And five wide, tight set. Chetron out in the side. Finally gets dragged down at the 46-yard line. Nice little out route. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of three minutes to go in this game. You're trying to move the ball a little bit. Maybe, maybe trying to put up some style points a little bit, you know? Um, but, you know, it's three minutes to go in the game. The game's pretty much. Oh, no. No. Thank you. I saw the spinning wheel. I was like, don't lock up now. <laughs> Let's see here. Slot receivers change spots. That's interesting. Rice drops, looks. Caught down to the 40, to the 37. All right, Brad, 38. I'll go with your mark. First and 10. Yeah, I mean, just pitch and catch at this point. The, Penn, the linebackers for Penn State look at fatigue, having to try to cover this underneath. It's not usually a good matchup, linebackers on really fast All right, Rice drops, looks, throws out route again. Pushed out at the 23, another first down. Yep, so the clock should be running once we break the huddle here, but, um, you know, just soft coverage all game. The underneath stuff's pretty much been open whenever Oklahoma State's wanted it. From the 23 yard all right, under two and a half minutes left here. Again, spreading them out five wide. Favorite. Formation at this offense. Presley goes in motion. Rice, QB power, and runs into three defenders. Finally gets bounced backwards on the play. Loses four. Be second down at 14. Yeah, almost like he kind of missed a few frames there. You know, he was getting somehow getting a little bit bunched up, and all of a sudden he just flies on the ground. Maybe he got a little delay on my end, but hey, good job by Penn State here. You're trying just to hold your pride here and hopefully not give up another touchdown. Oklahoma State, you're trying to just keep it going. There's that wide receiver screen again. Presley to the edge. Inside the 20, inside the 10, down to the 6. First and goal again. Yeah. I mean, that play has not been stopped all day. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, we're less than two minutes to go here, so realistically, the game's kind of decided, but I guess Coach Sausages is going for a... Uh, Going for an extra dagger here. Motion Chetron gets it this time. Tries to cut it back up. Pursuit catches him from behind. Dropped it to five. Be second and goal from there. Yeah, I mean, nice call with the jet sweep. Trying to hit to the perimeter, but these, these lines are flying around, man. You know, even though the game is now decided, right, they are... You know, like I said, trying to keep their pride here, trying not to have a 40 spot put on them in, in the game. So we'll see how the rest of this uh, game plays out. All right, Nixon motion back to the backfield, handed off, tries to go straight up the middle, powers his way through. Another touchdown for Oklahoma State. Extra point away from making this 42 to 14 with 104 left. Found the lane, they punched it in. I like, not much really you can you can say negatively about that. We're on the ball here, man. You got you gotta stop it. Yeah, that drive they pretty much did whatever they wanted anytime they wanted. They they there's a couple of negative plays there where they were trying something different, but they had them twisting and turning every which way. And they can we're gonna run the in this game. Oklahoma, when Oklahoma State really wants to do something, they've done it. <laughs> All right, 104 left. Again, Penn State working on that one-minute offense. Yeah, we'll be a little more careful with the ball this time, though. Bring him out three wide with the tight end on the right. Bayer drops, rolls out, looking, looking. Pressure, throws deep down the side. Caught at the 35 to the 30. Dragged down at the 28. A little underthrown, made a little jump catch, and then uh, finally got wrestled down. We got 55 seconds left. They huddled up really, or to the line really quick. Yeah. 
Mayer takes a snap, throws down the sideline, caught and into the end zone. DB went, looked like he was going for the ball and missed it. Caught it, stepped inside of him, gets in the end zone. Hey, it's nice to see Penn State not laying down. Right, the game's already pretty much decided. <laughs> and you know what? You're, you're fighting, you're gaining momentum for, for, for the following weeks. Chetron drop, jumps off sides. Yeah, he ran all the way around the whole formation. That's why I was laughing. <laughs> and he still got picked up by a block. <laughs> Down three scores, kind of pointless to try an onside, so we're just going to kick it back and uh, work on playing D. Yeah. Here comes Shetron straight up the middle, looking for a lane. Gets one on the outside. Great blocking. Can you run away from these two defenders? Good block by 24, and he's gone, folks. 105, 106 yards, whatever that was. 27 got the last good block to steal that guy trying to catch him from the right side and he was gone. I'm having flashbacks to last year when Danny <laughs> and I played. Did everything right and all of a sudden you just see number two is down the side. And they go for two and they get it. And Danny was a little annoyed by how long it took to get this game started and he's just going to uh, make a point. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I guess, one way to put it. <laughs> All right, Hutton's going to kick it off, and uh, it's going to go through the uprights for the umpteenth time of the day. And now they have 39 seconds left. They scored in less time than that on their other drive, so see if we can just go back and forth, back and forth. Danny got the uh, 50 burger, though. I mean, somebody's got the back door over here. We have less than a minute to go. Conveyor drops, rolls to his right, throws back across to the middle, and knocked down. Yeah, throwing in double coverage, done it three or four times tonight. It's never a good idea. Though, is it still crazy to think, Vaughn, that I thought Wallace was still going to make that catch? No, it's not crazy because he's not human. <laughs> All right, spread them out four wide again. 34 seconds left. Vayer drops, looks, throws over the middle. He's got a man open, caught, and dropped right in the 48-yard line, 47-yard line. And I wish Penn State would, would invest in names and numbers. Yeah, you know, I, I guess they don't have it in the budget. I don't know. Right? I guess that I can give them good enough a deal. That was Caden Saunders, by the way. But you wouldn't know because he doesn't have a name on the back of his shirt. So, all right, all the way out to the 48 now. 26, I'm sorry, 28 seconds left. They have time and one timeout because they called one there. Yeah, you know, at least, like you said, you know, if, if, the, if the opposing team is going to keep their foot on the gas, you might as well too. From the 48 yard line. There's nothing else. Get it down there and uh, kick a long field goal. Pretend you need that field goal to tie the game. Okay. There drops. Playing contain on the outside, and that one should have been picked, and it's knocked down. Both defensive ends are playing contain. They're just waiting for them to bail out of the pocket, and they're just going to take them down. So it's all day to throw, and almost threw another pick. Yeah, you know, try. At this point, you're you're, you're trying to make a throw. You're trying to get your guys some momentum. But at the same time, you don't you don't want this to turn into 57 or 58 to 21 either with, with a late throw. All right, spreading my five wide here, Vayer. Quick drop. Now the pressure comes. Rolls out hard to his right. Looking, looking. Stops. Nope. Takes off again and fumbles out of bounds at the 46. And I don't know if that's going to stop the clock or not. Because he was hit in bounds. You never know with this game, man. You never know. I've seen revamp get tackled along the sidelines multiple times and it should have been out of bounds and the clock rolls as soon as he breaks the auto. All right, they did rule it out of bounds. So 17 seconds left, third and nine. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide, Five wide again. Air drops, here comes the blitz in his face, and he throws it, and it's caught at the 35. Down to the 32, got a first down, stopped the clock, 11 seconds left, they go no huddle. Hey, what a way to put a ball on a spot with pressure just in your face. My goodness. 
And as you heard Brad say, he went over the 400 yard mark on this game. Comes pressure again from the right, throws it deep and caught for the touchdown. Guess who? That guy's got to have like 250 in this game by himself. <laughs> he beat three guys and he laid it right over his shoulder. I'm going to tell Spectre, hey man, you can throw that pass against me all day. I'm just going to play keep away. You won't get the ball. <laughs> Might have to run the ball 60 times. Why, why do you think I ran the ball 40 times? <laughs> like, holy shit. All right, seven seconds left. We're just going to kick this deep. I'm sure you want to kick this deep? Shetron just took it 106 yards for a touchdown. I'd fucking swim it. I'd go for an onside just to see if I could get one. All right. 109 yards back of the end zone. He's going to take a knee. All right, seven seconds left. Oh, oh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna not see the victory formation come. We're gonna out take here. a shot. Uh, digging in now. Yes, see what maybe there's an experience thing he's close to getting leveling up or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> he might, he might need stats for somebody. Rice drops, looks over the middle. Nixon caught first down. Clock stops. Three seconds left. They call a timeout. You get one more play. I know he's already over 300 yards passing, and the team's over 100 yards rushing. Damn, man, I think we're going to be late to our flight at this, at this rate. Like, holy <laughs> shit. All right, four receivers tied in on the right. Rice drops, looks, throws, caught, green, first down, and that's going to be ball game. So uh, Oklahoma State came into the game ranked 16th, walked into Happy Valley, put up a 50-burger on Penn State, and uh, they're looking to move into the top 10 after we advance the week here. And it doubled impressive. the first downs. Impressive win. I mean, look at the rushing yards alone. Yep. Like 170 carry, 170 carries. Jesus. 170 <laughs> yards for Oklahoma State. You know, you're getting over five yards a carry, almost six. You know, you're, you're living the good life. Penn State, you're barely, you get a barely over two yards a carry. You know, the quarterback run game for Oklahoma State opened up everything, in my opinion, this game. He had three incompletions, Vaughn. Like, he could pretty much do – Bryce could do no wrong in this game. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what his rush yards are personally. So, he uh, came into the game leading the team in rushing. And, uh, yeah, he only had 61 yards. It felt like he had more than that. So – I mean, he came in the game with four, over 400 yards. He was easily the leading rusher. So, But uh, decided to get Nixon more involved in the game. And uh, let's bring Danny in here and uh, see what he has to say about this game. What up, boys? Danny, Danny, Danny. You uh, After that first drive, you kind of just moved the ball at will and, and did what you wanted to do. Uh, yeah, we felt good. Um, we're a little upset, man. We got here to – look, whenever we come to Pennsylvania, we love it, all right? We love to go to Lincoln Financial, go see the Eagles, do our thing over there. But uh, Coach Specta didn't uh, didn't provide us with a pregame meal, and um, you know we we just felt a little disrespected by it. We felt a little hurt. Yeah, uh, it wasn't any of his doing. Uh, it was his catering company. But uh, you know we came in here and we we're pretty upset about it, and uh, clearly upset enough to give up 400 passing yards. But you know. So defense shut down the run early and that became a non-factor. So <laughs> talk to me about Wallace. I mean, the dude is just a magician out there. I don't know how he catches some of those passes. How, how do you try to cover that? Well, once we saw a couple of those slants just, you know, come across the field, um, you know, those nice little rollout slants, you can't really do anything about them. You know, I wish I could tell my, my defensive ends, hey, morons, stay outside. But, you know, you got to love uh, NCAA. So if we can't get any pressure, we just gotta we just gotta do our best and you know, I mean it is what it is. Turn it over to coach, coach. Yeah, I mean, talk about, you know, obviously, you know, the you could see in the run game the focus was on Nixon early, right? So you had to kinda on the in the option game. So you so Rice kinda did his own thing for a little bit. But Penn State seemed to rally, especially when he got in space, minus a couple runs. But then he started having actual running plays, design running plays for Nixon. And it kind of kept Penn State on their toes. 
Talk about how like having a having the game plan coming in, knowing that your quarterback obviously is a very good runner, but having also the, the playbook depth to where you can just go to your running back whenever you really need it. Yeah, I mean, we have to have a lot of trust in the offensive line. Um, those design plays are going to work. You know, the read, the option read game has always been pivotal in, in college and in college football. But um, when Penn State has a lot of good athletes, man, Coach Specta, you know, he's he's one of those coaches that he doesn't mind. He's going to live and die by his by his strategy, and he stayed with it. Um, it's our job to dictate them, um, not the other way around. You know, you don't want the defense to dictate you. But um, I think we did a good job well enough to stay on our, you know, kind of stay in our book and stay in our script. Yeah, I mean, staying on your script. I mean, Coach, you had the same amount of first downs as uh, rush attempts in this game. So I think you think you did pretty well. Um, that's all I got for you. Um, what's on the dock before you next? Um, unfortunately, we uh, we play Miami. It's going to be a good one. So we're excited to, to to have them. You know, both of us have the some of the longest home streaks. So unfortunately – they're coming to our place. Um, we got a couple of recruits come in. They're going to come see it. You know, we're going to party hardy in Stillwater if we can. But other than that, I mean, you know, we'll we'll, we'll be all right. We'll, we'll try. We'll try to hold on. You know, I know it's a it's a fucking test. So we'll see. <laughs> especially it's knowing you, especially uh, the uh, really, the I can't even talk anymore. You know, I guess I was at the beer line a little bit too much tonight. <laughs> Anyways, coach, we'll uh we'll see you at, we'll see you down the road and uh good win tonight. Absolutely, guys. I gotta go uh well actually I'll stay aboard, but uh my air fryer's going off. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spectre. Got it on mute. There you go. What up, pimp? What's up, pimps? So uh it's the same thing I've been seeing all year long. The rushing game is uh struggling. You gotta throw, 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 throw. Um, fortunately only had two picks, looked like you could have had three or four more. Um, how is that lack of a rushing game affecting you? I mean, you've got to be able to, to make them respect the run once in a while. Right. So what do you got to do differently to get that thing going? Got decent blockers who are kind of blocking like shit, pretty much try to get the run game going and it's negative yards, negative yards, a yard or two. And then by the time you get anything, try to get anything going, we're already behind the chain. So we got to find some answers fast. So what happened on that uh, field goal? Did you overcorrect that and see what the wind was doing? Was it a lag issue and, you know, you're kicking from the right hash all the way to the left? Overcorrected, a.k.a. just fucking botched it <laughs> pretty much. I'm going to turn it over to coach for a second. Hey, I mean, hey, you know, we have, we've all been there some way, shape, or form, Specta, so don't, don't uh, get, get yourself down too much about it. I mean, we talked about it. We asked Danny about it. I mean, your boy Wallace has been a problem for all of us. No, no matter what, what, what the score says, that dude is a fucking problem. Pardon <laughs> my French. So, you know, sometimes are, are, are you just going into every game saying, hey, I don't care who's on him. We're going to get him the football because he gives us the best chance to compete in football. He just makes plays. No matter who's he, who he up against or what scenario I put him in, he just kind of makes plays. Yeah. I, I know going back to week one when we when we played you, I double teamed him a couple times, and it didn't, it didn't matter. You know, he still either beat him vertically or beat him across the field. It was just a problem. I couldn't figure it out. But um, as you look forward – Right, we talked about the running game need to improve. Anything else you kind of see maybe from the defensive side of, of it? Because, you know, Danny kind of controlled the clock a little bit. He kind of did what he wanted when he really wanted to press the issue. Um, some some thoughts going into defensively uh, for the rest of the year? Well, on defense right now, we fucking stuck. Calling plays, making plays on the field, we just ass salad. That Don't matter if we in three four four three nickel dime three three five. Doesn't any fucking matter. We just get an ass rape right up the middle. Dives pitches doesn't even matter. Yeah, you know that's um, definitely one way to put that. Uh, with with the struggles you had defensively tonight. Um, do you know who you have on the docket for next week? 
And what's kind of the thought process here going into practice on Monday? <sighs> yeah, I think it's that guy in the booth with you. Yep. Pretty yep, sure. Yep. Got to go to Carolina. Come on down. So that'll be fun. <laughs> hey. Hopefully we don't suck again. <laughs> Well, hey, it, it is a complex offensive system, and he seems like he's figuring out that defensive side of the ball. Oh, boy. Yikes. Uh, so, hey, best of luck to you going down the road, Pimp. And, uh, you know, wasn't the result you wanted tonight, but you came, but, but you got, but you kept it at least respectable. Appreciate you, Coach. Appreciate you, Vaughn. Great call. Good game, big dog. Good game, guys. And uh, that's going to wrap up our third game of the triple header tonight. Um, we will be advancing the week after uh, the, this game, whenever Jimmy advances it. So uh, we're going to have three games coming up sometime, I don't know, later this week, definitely by uh, early next week. Um, like I said, Penn State at North Carolina, Miami against Oklahoma State, and Florida State against Wisconsin. And then we also have three games uh, where users are playing CPU games. So it'll be a short week 